Hey everybody, good morning. This is Tony here out Crabbing the Woods. Today I'm on top of the world. No, I'm on top of my roof. I'm going to clean out my chimney. But what I thought I'd do is give you a shot of this is where we kind of live from up here. There you go. I know this camera may not do what it needs to do, but uh, do you see those pine trees straight ahead right there? That is the halfway point of my property. So you can go back double. Um, you see straight through those trees, straight all the way back. Straight. Uh, all right, yep. Straight through right there. That is the back part of my property by about 20 feet past that's where my property line ends. That tree right there is uh, another, that's about 40 feet past that's where my property line ends. Brought it in too far. Anyway, we have 600 by six, 660 by 660, which is 10 acres. There we go. It's nice up here. Goal today is I gotta take this cap off, and I wanna. I got my fireplace uh, tools up here, and uh, we're gonna take this cap off, and we're gonna may take the cap off, and clean the inside of it too. It's all dirty. Just get it all cleaned up. I try to do it once a year completely. I took those off all the way around. And that allowed me to take this off, took the cap off, and brought it downstairs. That's right. So I'll have to take these off. These look like they're five sixteenths. There's one, two, three, four, five, two, four, maybe five of them. Take them off, I'll lift that off, and then I'll later on I'll bring this down and we'll clean it up because I can see through the back side and set stuff on it. And you just don't want no interference of air coming up and out the smoke. Because my house is spray foamed, we are very, very tight, um, airtight. The fireplace draws a lot of air. Well, the house wouldn't produce enough air for this to work, so this has a breathing system that's dedicated for outside air only, and that's underneath my porches. This right here is what cools the pipe down all this fresh air. Fresh air is coming from down there, up this pipe, up the chimney stack, and comes out right here. There's another pipe that's underneath my porches that comes down goes down the fireplace and plugs into the side of the fireplace and that air is basically the fresh air breathing for the fireplace so it burns good hopefully you got that right I got it right you can hear my buddy over there shooting he's out that direction he's out where those big trees are way back there that's where he lives flag is barely flying good view of the property huh all right, guys, let me get this all apart, and I'll get, take you when I get apart. Okay, there I got the top off of it. Don't want to drop my camera, but you can see it's pretty dark down there. There's that. And here is the topper. I'm going to take that down, and I will clean that up after. What you do is you stick that tool in there, and you're going to start going up and down, up and down. I've only done it like three times, you can already see how it's starting to clean it up. And we're trying to get is that nice shiny back again. Believe it or not, that black stuff is what slows down the airflow that comes up. Alright, let me keep on doing this. Alright. As you can see, it looks a lot better. All right, I'm gonna need, have to put two hands on this, and I need to start screwing these together, and I'll bring it back when I'm done. All right, let me put my fingers around it so I don't drop it. Kind of hard to see, but you can see down there, you can see shiny, you can see my ends. I am four lengths in, and these are, it should be, well, actually right now it's 15 foot. When I go down, I can get my line to go down about this far, and then we're done. Um, that'll be 20 foot, and that'll be right at the top of the fireplace. And then there I come in from the top, uh, from inside the fireplace and go up and hit. So, there it is, it's looking nice and clean. Everything's looking good here. I'm going to bring it on out. A couple more strokes and bring it on out, and then I'll go ahead and take this down. And I'm going to spray it down with something. Wash it out real good, clean it, then put it back on top.
and then we'll be done with outside then we're going to move on the inside all right here's the top it was really it was nice and black inside but also all those grill fins were really dirty i got them all cleaned up too wire brush it cleaned then i used carpet cleaner and i had an engine degreaser engine greaser i ran out of then i used the carpet cleaner let it soak on it for about a half an hour and i took this this brush and just brushed it all down real good and it came out really good come out a lot cleaner all right i'm not going to bring the camera up top you've already seen it apart you've already seen down inside it's getting windier out i just i just started feeling sprinkles so i'm going to leave the camera down here and uh, go up there finish that off real quick and get on down before it looks like it's fixing to rain soon all right guys i went in the house and i just started digging into cleaning out the chimney on the inside and i forgot to even turn the camera on the camera was nowhere near i got the chimney inside not the pipe but I got a lot of the fireplace inside to scrape clean so now i'll tell you the process what's going what happened uh, oh, I got my headlight on. Um, we took the cap off the chimney. We went 20 feet down with my um, wire brush deal I got for that. It completely cleans everything out. And what happens is, is all that stuff that's in the chimney falls on top of this. This is 100% ash. You can see it, okay? Now, what this is here is an insulated pad. That's a ceramic pad. We're looking... We are looking right now, basically, the, the chimney piping is up this way, okay? So we're looking at the top of it. This is really the bottom that we look at. I'll have to show you two later. This pad I am replacing. It's no good. It's junk. And um, we already got a new pad for it. I already put it up. Here's the uh, uh, vent pipes. Um, I'll show you. What I'll do is I'll put it back together again. And I'll show you these pipes where they sit and how they go in. But you, I, you wire brush, clean them all up real good. None of the holes were plugged up, but they just get all scaly. And you just make sure down the pipe down there looks nice and clean. And you can see it does. This piece here actually sits underneath that ceramic thing we, I talked to you about. And it's what helps hold it up. I will show you all that too when we get back inside again. Now what I'm going to do is grab this. And this is what I will take and stick up from inside the house. And I'll show you when I get there. All right, you can see the inside of the fireplace. This is just the inside walls. How they've been, they've been scraped. They still can be scraped a little bit more. But this is what we got to do next. Is right here. That. There's the chimney. It goes up. Now hopefully you can see it because I can't see nothing. I've got the camera up there. But that's what we've got to get clean now. So, and all those pipes I showed you out there, they fit in these holes. Which goes right over here also. Okay, we're going to stick the wire brush deal up there. I don't know if you all can see it fall out. We'll go up as high as I can go. Alright guys, alright, I got the, mo most of this chimney is cleaned out, we're done. As you can see, it looks pretty good, it's about as good as I want to be able to get it. It looks really good, I did as much clean as I can. One thing you do not want to do is use a regular vacuum cleaner to clean this out. Because you'll be blowing ash everywhere, which I didn't do, as you can tell, I didn't. But anyway it's clean ready to go now i did cut a new blanket this is a thermal blanket 
and here this is a ceramic tile that goes under it so what's going to happen is we've got this what I've got to do is I've got to install these pipes the first pipe we got to put a pipe in let me try to get this camera straightened out and we'll go from there first we're going to have to set the one of these pipes in this hole right over here hopefully you see the hole and what we're going to do is we shove it all the way into the right, and then we're going to go back this way. We're going to shove it in here. So when we install it, the pipe goes all the way over, and then we're going to bring it back this way. And then there's a set screw you can see right there. There's a screw and a little thing. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and try to set this piece up in here. And I'll show you how it should be done. I'm trying to do this by with the camera. It's so hard. Here's this piece I told you about. This actually sets underneath. I'm gonna I have to put the camera down. It sets up underneath this plate like this. And then this gets tucked in. So, we're nice and tucked in. We've got a little bit. Let me get this right. Okay. The ceramic tile is dead even with this metal beam underneath. And then it's about an inch on each side of this fabric. On each side that sticks out. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to angle it up sideways and then tuck it up and then we'll stick some more of these air pipes in and then we'll push down on it but what we're going to do now is we're going to take this we're going to uh, oh I just dropped that that blew that part didn't Okay, I don't know if you guys can see this, but we're going to try to make it work. It's dark. Here's our pipe. And we're going to stick... If you notice this one pipe, this one end, has a little hole in it at the very end. That's the end that always goes to the left. I'll show you that reason why of that. We're going to stick that pipe in there. All the way to the right, and then we're going to slide it over to the left. And I'll show you where that all lines up. Let's do another one. Let's do this one here. As you can see right there, it has a little hole. We're going to use that and I'll show you what that's for. That goes to the left. All the pipes do. We're going to go over here. We're going to stick that in there. Oh, okay. Another thing I'll just show you. You see this piece here? And it's right here. This pipe must go against them, and that holds this plate in spot. So I'll show you once it's in here what it's doing. All right, let's get that in there. We're all the way to the right. Now we're going to go over here to the left and slide it over to the left. And if you noticed, I showed you that plate, that little tab is right there. That holds all this in, so this stuff can't come out at all. And you can see the new insulated pad is in there. That all looks good. Everything looks tight. It's all it all fits together too. It's like a little puzzle. Once it goes slides in, it's all together. All right, now can you see? Yeah, there's that little hole right there. Okay. Now we're gonna slide. I'm only gonna show you this one just because it's so hard to see it further back. I'm gonna slide that piece right there in the hole on the pipe. That will lock the pipe so it doesn't move around. So let me get the slit in there. It's locked in. Now, hold on. I'll show you when I get this started a little bit so it doesn't fall out. It's in there. Now, I'll show you more. If you see, it's kind of hard to see it, but that little pin went inside this pipe, and then we're going to tighten this down. I have three more to do the same way. Now, this is the way this was when I took it apart, and I forgot to turn the camera on completely. So, we're going to reverse. So, basically, before you clean anything, let's put these in, and then we'll start from scratch. Let's go ahead and get these next three in and then I'll, I'll turn it back on. Okay, now I get it all back together again. 
You've seen when I had it half apart, so what I'm going to show you how to take it apart. I'm not going to take it apart, but I'm going to tell you what to do. You've seen all the other pieces off of it, so you know. All right, I showed you going back together. What will happen is, you see that Allen head bolt back there? There's one there, there's one there, and there's one right there. What you do is you take those Allen bolts out. Those have that little stem that's, that's stabbed inside. had a little hole right there. And that holds the, the, uh, the, the pipe in its spot. I mean, it don't go nowhere. It's stuck because of that Allen head in that pecker thing. So, I've got three. What you're going to have to do is to take this apart, it's going to be take all three of your bolts out and those little tabs, take them out. Then you're going to take out this one pipe. So you're going to push it to the right, and you're gonna, it's going to fall out. You're going to drop down. It's, you, so you're going to push it to the right. It's going to drop down, and then you pull the pipe out. And I'd have, I had a five-gallon pail sitting here waiting to put all the stuff in. I grabbed this next one, this whole pad up top here, this whole panel. You can see that white pad, the white foam stuff right there. I had on the truck. This stuff here, when you take this out, what they tell you to do is you can push up on this back piece so that, pretend my hand is that ceramic pad, you're going to pick up the back and you're going to tilt it forward and you're going to slide it right through here. This is not going to be here. It'll be off. You'll slide that right on out. When it's out, be careful because it's going to be full of junk. Have a bunch of towels laying around. Have whatever you need to protect your floors because it'll be full of soot. Then you can take these bars one at a time. Like I said, you grab it and you can go to the right. This side will fall out of the hole. Grab it, pull it down, put it in your bucket. Do the same thing here. That opens up that whole area you've seen that I had in there. And what I did to go backwards, reverse, after I cleaned, I wire brushed all the stuff out. We looked at it. You've seen that outside. I put that back pipe in. I went ahead and put in that Allen head bolt. You see the Allen right there? I put that in there, got that one set. I had this one kind of ready, and then I had this pad set up. I had, this is a ceramic, cer ceramic, uh, about a half inch thick blade. Uh, you seen it outside, I had in the back of the truck, uh, like a board, ceramic board. And then that, that foam, fire pad stuff, went on top of that. And then this piece slides in and locks it all together. You're gonna go backwards, you're gonna take this, you're gonna slide it up up in, push it up, slide this pipe in its spot. Now I'll actually hold it there long enough for you to go ahead and get this pipe in. It's not heavy, it's light. I mean, this stuff's light. You can get this in here and you get those tabs, push this back all the way. That keeps everything from pulling out, as you can see. This fireplace is ready to go. It's done, it's clean. Everything looks good. We're gonna light the fire here in a little bit. Um, I did want to show you this real quick. Oh, I want to show you that also cleaning the glass. I was on the roof. I was telling you about the fresh air that allows air to feed the fire. It is this piece right here. This little flapper door you turn. That is, that's closed. With that open, that now will feed the fuel to this fireplace. Um, the extra air it needs to run. This is also a dampener also. There's two things that work with that we leave open all the time. This does the fine tuning of that. So, that's wide open. This does the fine tuning. When you go to light it, we're gonna slide both of these over. Uh, I can't remember now. I think they could both go together as one piece. This is on a timer and it comes back on its own. It's like a super open and then this fine, fine tunes it. I'm going to show you how I clean these windows. I found a simple way. Let me go and uh, get ready for that and I'll show it to you. All right, I'm going to show you my secret weapon for cleaning the glass on these. Look at that, easy off. Works very good. I always put paper down on the bottom. Paper's down here in the bottom and I'll go ahead and spray the doors. And I'll let it sit there for, I don't know, a few minutes. 
And then I'll take the, uh, the newspaper or paper towel and I'll wipe it off. Usually newspaper. I'll bring it back when it's ready. As you can see, it's starting to soften up some. Let me get down here and in the way of the camera, right? Right? Anyway, it's starting to soften up some. You can see it. But it comes clean real easy. Now, um, what I can tell you is... Um, let me change with this. I already, did, I already sprayed the other door because you got to both let them set. Um, but you all, you need to really think safely about getting your fireplace chimney cleaned yearly. You must do it. Um, fires can happen. Um, weird things can happen. I'm going to show you a fireplace, a fire blanket that we bought. Uh, we bought it uh, early last, this year. And it will be handy laying around waiting for this year along with fire extinguishers. But let me get this done real quick and I'll show you what I've got. This here should be getting close. And all I did take the newspaper and just spin it around. And right now, I mean, I don't know if you can see it. It's hard to see. I know. Let me try to turn my light on here. Okay. It's almost gone. That stuff's been on there for I haven't cleaned these up this, at all this year. We haven't used it, but I have not cleaned it. It's almost clean right now. So you guys have seen it right there. Oven cleaner, no razor blade scraping, um, nothing. You can see it. I mean, it's literally clean. I've been doing that now for over a year. It works great. Um, just like I said, have your newspapers out, have everything ready. Just get everything ready. You guys can see it. I mean, it's spotless right now. Look at that. You see me, no scraping at all. None. Looks good. I'm going to go over here. I'm actually going to move the camera over. There's the second window, the second door. And we're going to spray it. We're going to wipe it down. Completely clean. There you go, guys. No more razor blades. No more using newspaper and Windex and vinegar. That, that stuff's old. 100% clean right now. All right, got the fireplaces all done. The windows are nice and clean. Nice and clean. Looks good. Now, I do want to talk about two things real fast. You have a fireplace, you have a responsibility of keeping your house safe. Okay, yes, they offer all kinds of fire extinguishers. Um, there are different ones. Believe it or not, this fire extinguisher is for boats. Why boat? Um, because when you're on a boat, you want, <laughs> that's the only thing you have to be able to put a fire out. So the chemicals they use are a lot stronger, a lot better than a regular house one. So we have two of those fire extinguishers they're for um, marine use um, fire extinguishers they just a lot more I guess more potent a lot better I've did some research they just work a lot better than a regular house when they last longer second thing you have a fire in your home something's burning in your house it could be very small I mean you could have a couch on fire who knows your stove I don't know fire blanket invest in one um, this is the fire blanket we have. This is the one we've got. All you do is pull the tabs down. It's Velcro. It opens up. You pull it out. And there's the blanket. You throw it on top. I forgot how many degrees it withstands, but it literally lays down and puts the fire out. 
You remember at the beginning of the year, I told you about my neighbor's house caught fire. They first thought it was the fireplace was the problem, the wood, something inside. They had a fire blanket just like what I got. In fact, that's where I got the part number from, from them. I ordered up, found the dimensions and ordered one. The reason is, is after the fire was done, the fire blanket that was inside the fireplace, the blanket was still inside the fireplace, not burned up. It was a complete blanket that it suffered. You can see the colors, but it literally, to me, if I would have thrown that on top of, it will consume that, if that couch is on fire, that chair, it will put the fire out. It, it'll smother it. If it was a stove fire, a grease fire, you throw the blankets on top. Excellent. You got you research it, guys. Check into it. This is the fire blanket that I got. You guys can all see it. There's the size on the bottom right. There's what we've got right there. Tells you to pull it. This tabs on the bottom. You pull this out, and the whole fire blanket comes right on out of the whole thing. And there it is. And it's a pretty big fire blanket. No more. No other instructions to it. It tells you how to do it right there. Some more. And once again, after the fire is done, we walked over. Everything else is burnt. Fireplace stood there, and the fire blanket still laid in the same spot, not burned through. To me, that's why I got one. I seen that. I said, man, that could save our house, anybody's home. Something's on fire, anywhere in the kitchen. You might be able to smell her with that. Between that and that, if you're home, you might be able to do it. To me, this is what we all need to have if we have a fireplace. Fire extinguishers are very handy. My fire extinguisher is right there. There's two of them. There's number two. It's another a bigger bottle right there. We're talking 10 foot away. Fire blanket, the same spot. It's ready to go. All right, guys, I'm going to get going. I am going to go ahead and uh, say thanks for watching this. Thanks for subscribing. Share with everybody. It's important that everybody knows to maintain their fireplaces, um, safety, things that need to be done. And um, like I said, share with everybody and hit, hit the bell button and um, gives you notifications whenever I put a new video out. All right. Y'all have a great day. Thanks again. Bye.